what do you think is the role of uh, uh, role of specialist firms for example you know we here at uh, xq labs we are one of those firms that uh, specialize in in work like this right in in making right, these right. kind of transitions happen in doing the consulting behind it um, in fact interestingly uh, you know one of uh, we have six core values uh, as a company and uh, in fact four of them actually are very closely related to the discussion we had today you know core value called market impact uh, core value called scalability uh, core value called long term thinking and also the fourth core value called technology forward right so what do you think are the roles of uh, specialist firms uh, once the company decides okay this is the list of modules we also know whether they are going to do big bang or a phase wise uh, where, where does a company like us come in mm, there are two i think two aspects to this thing i mean i would want to approach this in two things right so the first is the experience that this firm has in doing this work so they can bring that knowledge to you they can present things better to you on how to approach this problem right they can offer various solutions to get these things done what tech stack to you or what tools to you or where to do it how to do it when to do it right that is one again inclusive of whether you do it big bang or whether you do it okay. got it twice right but the other aspect is um uh the people right uh, the experience is of course because of the people but uh, let's say i am a small company of 30 individuals i already have a monolith and um, i want to migrate it to um, microservices in a big bang approach now imagine this monolith is consisting of 50 individual modules independent modules right 50 modules so 50 individual microservices if it has to become and this is an example again if it's not it has a one-to-one -to -one mapping but yeah yeah, imagine it is, yeah. yeah it likes imagine it is a one-to-one -one mapping and if if you have to build 50 microservices you are 30 people and you want to do 50 you are short of 20 people let's say for example one person per microservice then you're short of 20 people these firms can get you the manpower so that you can deliver all these microservices in parallel at the same time, wherein maybe you are doing 30 and this firm is taking up 20. Or maybe your firm is managing the existing monolith as is, and you rely on this firm completely to deliver all these 50 microservices in parallel. That is the second, right. that is the second thing that an external party can bring in. Um, even if it is phase wise, you don't, I mean, in, in let's say if you want to do, if you wanted to do the Big Bang approach, you would have to hire 50 people outside, right? Your upfront cost is much higher without even knowing if it will benefit you or not. And in the other side, on the phase-wise approach, this firm, you can ramp up slowly. You will only onboard one guy, do one microservice, see if it is working out, then slowly add two more, then three more, then four more, or maybe get accustomed to those technologies, learn those things, assign more of your own team to work on these microservices, and in tandem with this external party, do all this stuff together in parallel as you, you know, uh, move forward in your roadmap. Right. 